Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And, you know, I love networking, whether it's wired, wireless, routing, switching, uh, storage, voice over IP, everything. Without networking, the world uh, as we know it right now, it's not the same. It's not the same. That's networking and security. That, I mean, it's, it's, it's everything. But yes, we need programmers and all that too. But, but without devices like this, you know, things just packets don't get from point A to point B. And I want to show you this. So a friend of mine had this switch. And what this is, is uh, this is an Axis, uh, as an Axis Communications. This is an Axis Ethernet switch. This is the Axis T8508 PoE Plus network switch. And uh, when I heard that they had these switches with their own firmware, I asked my buddy if I could borrow it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at it here. Uh, we'll do a quick overview of what comes in the box. So in the box, you get a power cable. You get these guff, goofy rubber feet from 3M. 3M makes a bazillion dollars off of those rubber feet. You get, of course, the book of quick start uh, or installation. Inside, you do get a... They do have a drill te template in there, so you can mount this on the wall. One thing that I thought was interesting is that for a switch that I've seen online, and we'll look at that, between six and 800 bucks, uh, you got to buy the rack ears for this. But you can get rack ears for a standard 19-inch uh, rack. Now, it doesn't look like this has SFP+. Plus. I think these are just SFP ports. And uh, then we've got PoE+. Plus. But what I thought was interesting is when I was looking at this, the uh, the UI for this I thought was super interesting. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to pause the video, get this plugged in. We're going to get logged into it. We're going to take a look around. We'll take a look over on Amazon, see if I can barrage you with any affiliate links if you're interested uh, in this. And uh, I I'm really interested to see the interface. So let's get this hooked up, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. So I uh, actually tried to uplink it to um, my... Uh, grand stream switch. I was just going to put it in line, but it does not recognize the ubiquity SFP module that I'm using. So I rearranged some things, plugged it into the main network. As you can see, it's on a 66 on the 66 instead of the 10, which is our grand stream network. But we're going to go ahead and log in. They gave me um, a piece of paper that had a username and password. And um, if you're familiar with Axis, you know root is uh, like the default username because it's running Linux under the hood. So let's take a look here. So we've got this um, interesting little picture of the uh, switch up here. It looks like the interface is probably responsive. So this is an Axis T8508. Um, it's got 130 watts of PoE available. It was on firmware version 6.54.3805. Uh, and I like this. So I can uh, hover over the ports up here, and it tells, tells me like what's uh, in the port, the name of what's in the port, and the MAC address. Not sure what unlocked means, but we're going to take a look at that. So that's our system overview. By the way, this is the first time I log, I've log. i logged into this. Uh, you are watching this with me for the first time, but a switch is a switch is a switch, and we'll figure it out. Um, I only knew about the interface because I was looking at uh, the website for the switch. So we've got our TCP IP set up. We can, uh, we can um, do a static address. So if we uncheck this, we put a static address in here. We can set... DNS server right now, uh, it does not have one. The interesting thing about this switch is it does have a DHCP server built in. So if you have a bunch of access uh, uh, cameras or uh, network audio devices or whatever else, you can hand out the DHCP from the switch itself. That's kind of nice. Here's our PoE setup. So we can do... Uh, power determined by class allocation or LLDP MED. Um, and then power management mode is reserved instead of actual. We've got a capacitor detection going on. And here we can change our PoE mode. We can do schedule, priority, and max watts. That's kind of nice, nice and simple. Real nice, clean interface on this. Got our date and time configuration here. 
We've got our port security. So when it says that the port is unlocked, that must mean that's what this is. So I'm not 100% sure how their port security works. I don't want to lock a port that I'm on. Let's lock uh, port 9. And maybe that just means that whatever the MAC address is that comes across 9 is what's there. Could be. I'm going to have to look more into that. Uh, there's a wizard. Oh, I don't want to run that. All right, here's that topology view. So um, check this out. So this thing is uh, browsing the network and seeing what's going on here. Here is uh, my PC. And then you can see um, all the other uh, devices that it has found. So it's got this topology view built right into it. So this is kind of nice. And then it looks like we can do... Uh, some grouping so we can group into switches. Uh, let's see, PCs. Oh, that's nice. I like that. And the reason you're seeing this twice is because I have, a, a, you know, a hardwired and I have a wireless connection. Uh, IP cameras. You can see there's none on this segment. It doesn't detect the Grandstream phone that's plugged into the same uh, uplink as it. It doesn't detect the APs. There's others and offline so that's kind of that's kind of cool i kind of like that that is nifty swifty uh config ip range we can do uh, multiple subnets so i could go ahead and put in my other vlans and it could discover what's on my other vlans that's that's actually kind of nice i'm kind of digging that all right devices so this will show us what's uh apparently yeah okay, okay so this is the devices that it sees on the network so 36, which we have a heck of a lot more than 36 devices on this network, but uh, that's interesting. All right, under maintenance, we got diagnostics. So you've got log. You've got, oh, wait a minute. Look at this, though. It recognized that I plugged that uh, SFP in, but it wouldn't get a link. I wonder if this is one of those cases where I've got to force the, um, I've got to force the one gig full duplex. Interesting. I'll have to play around with that. I got to take this switch back uh, tomorrow, but we can do a ping. We can do cable diagnostics. Do you think cable diagnostics are actually uh, any good in a switch? Let me know if you've got any that you think are good. We've got a trace route. We've got a server report. Not sure what that is. Oh, we've got some traffic. Oh, traffic monitoring. That's kind of nice. This is, 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 uh, expansive as that gets let's see what we've got under advanced all right so under system we've got configuration you got information okay so now we can start getting into the weeds getting into the nitty-gritty on this setup it's got bonjour discovery here's our ip setup so if we've got different vlans oh we can add routes so i'm wondering how many vlans we can have on this i don't know if it says in the in the book I was just really excited to see that access. I'm, I'm, I wonder if they're OEMing these. Um, yeah, so the uh, the book that I have here just tells you how to install it. Um, there might be something on their website. But we can add an interface. We can change the VLAN. But let's, uh, we can add some VLANs and stuff. Here's our port configuration. So, yeah, so you can really get down and dirty and... Um, you can really get down into the weeds with this. Here's our POE. Green Ethernet it has its place. Before you say anything, here's our security. So we've got users, privilege level. Huh, doesn't that privilege level look uh, familiar? Here's your different uh, privilege levels that you can configure. Here's our authentication methods. So I think it's got HTTPS in there by default. Um, we've got SNMP. Oh, yeah. So this thing has a lot of configuration. Here's our network. So now we can do, looks like we've got some limit control. Uh, let's see. If we enable it here, um, port security limit control. Okay, so limit four. So this must be uh, four MAC addresses. Uh, deep. Okay. And, and we can do sticky. All right. So we, uh, we're, we're good here. Network access server. 
Here's our ACLs. Anytime I tell you, you need to be careful configuring ASL. It's not because I like hearing myself talk. It's because you could really get locked out of a, a switch in a bad way. IP source guard. We've got our ARP inspection. We've got our AAA for our, and here's our radius server config. Here's our status for port security. Man, oh man, this thing, you know, you hit that advanced tab. There's quite a bit here. We can do port aggregation and we can do static and, and LACP. Got our Mac table configuration and our status. That's beautiful. Oh, I like green check marks. Here's our DHCP server. So here's our mode. So you can do it per VLAN. That's kind of nice. You can do excluded IPs, pools. And here's our status. All right, VLANs, configuration. Allowed VLANs. So now we can do, okay, we've got access trunk hybrid ports. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. So let's see if we do 1 through 50. What happens? So I don't know if we've got 50 VLANs now. I have to click that save button. Oh, did you see how it named the running conf running hyphen config? I don't know that these are Cisco switches. They could be. Somebody let me know because, I mean, it would behoove, uh, it would behoove uh, um, access to OEM it. But maybe, th maybe they're not. Maybe they're doing it in-house. But you can see we do have... Uh, 50 VLAN. So if I change this to, can I do uh, start from VLAN one, 65 per page? That didn't work. But there's all 50 of those VLANs we created. We can do private VLANs. We can do voice VLANs automatically. Okay, all right. VCLs. So you can do Mac-based VLAN, protocol-based VLAN, IP subnet-based VLAN got spanning tree oh look at all the different spanning trees we've got stp rstp mstp all the things we got loop protection ipmc my goodness this switch has a lot of uh exposed things we got mvr going on here let's see lldp LLDP med, 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 MED. We got QoS. My goodness, full featured QoS. We got universal plug and play. Blah, sorry. You got uh, SMTP, and you got then you got maintenance. So you've got your firmware where you can do a firmware upgrade, and we would have to choose a file to do that. We can uh, back up our configuration, save, startup config, download, upload, activate. So apparently you can have different uh, ones in there that we can activate. So let's go back to where were we at a minute ago? System configuration IP. And let's add an interface and let's do VLAN to enable it. And let's do 192.168.2.1. Twenty-four, and let's apply this. Okay, and save. It doesn't look like it. It saved that though, does it? Hmm. Must be doing something wrong. So we can update. I mean, here's our IP interface, but why isn't it? What's fallback mean? I, I'm guessing. <laughs> two dot two. Twenty four.
Oh. Uh, apply. So I'm doing something wrong because it keeps wiping that out. So I'd have to figure that out, but I'm confident given more time I can figure it out. But I thought this was a really nice switch. I thought you would like to see this switch uh, to know that Axis is doing some of these these things out there. Um, I think it's it's pretty cool. I'll leave a link to some af affiliate uh, links for some of these switches out on uh, Amazon in case you want to take a look. Um, if you've got questions, let me know. I'm only going to have limited time with this switch. So if you've got things you want to know, let me know and we'll figure it out. Um, and if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links and a Patreon link if you'd like to support the channel and keep us growing here. And if you need IT consulting, you've got an Access Camera project, a Synology NAS project, you need uh, security scans done, you want to set up a new Grandstream phone system, reach out at willyhow.com. Head on over there, fill out the contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That's our promise to you. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.